All right, so I'm in the process of changing my standalone or standard WordPress website to headless and I decided to use Bedrock um, as a boilerplate and maybe use Sage as my starter theme, but I'm still thinking if I'm going to use the Sage or just keep the existing one. Now, one of the dependencies for you to install a Bedrock is also to install a composer. So, um, and I'm having problem earlier to install a composer so in this video i'm going to show you how did i fix it so to start with you click on the composer website uh, you go into the composer website getcomposer.org and click on download button so in here you should able to download the composer setup.exe i already downloaded my it and it should look like this so if you double tap that and click on install all user click on yes um, and click on next you'll notice that there's like an empty php thing it should it should have like a php exe option in here now if you don't have that you probably did not install a php on your windows and that is required to um, install the composer into your computer so to do that let's just turn this off for now because we need to install a php you go into the php.php.net.download and scroll down and look for a um, windows 16 by 64 threads safe i'm not sure what's the difference of non-thread and thread um I'll put it under article um, for further explanation. I'll, I'll dig some research after this. So yeah, so you just need to click on, you just need to download the zip file. So click that and then it will create a zip file and then it will generate something like this. So you need to extract it. So right click and click on extract. And I'm just going to name this folder. I don't want to be too long. So just call it PHP. So right click again, um, extra, oh, extract all, and then PHP folder. Let's just make that big and then extract. And then once the folder is extracted, you control X or you cut it or you pay, you copy the, the folder and then move it into your program files. So your program files should be located on your computer, local C, program files. And then you just need to delete that. Don't need that. So you just need to Okay, so you just need to paste the folder and then you should have the PHP folder in your local computer. So once the PHP folder is already on your program files, we should be good to go. So if I go back to the composer.exe, composer that exe install user click on yes click on next now the php is already there okay so click on check click on next and then you should be good to go and then we can move forward to the click on next click on install and then we should be good to go and then we can move forward on the um installing the dot env and then um installing the bedrock into our visual student into our terminal so the bedrock will be there's a lot of tutorial about that i'm not sure if i'm going to create a tutorial about the bedrock um there's still a lot of youtuber who does a very great tutorial on how to install bedrock but let me know if you want me to come up with that tutorial but that's just how you install a composer and by the way this is applicable for um windows users only if you are a mac user um, check on my article version for step-by-step -step guide and i also include the mac there so hope it helps and again if you have any question um let me know 
um, and comment down below if you have a better process on how to install the composer.